Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan, where there's new videos every Thursday. Today we're gonna be looking at this show, I didn't know I was pregnant. A bunch of people walking around, popping out babies randomly. They didn't plan it. They didn't know the whole time. All of a sudden, plop, baby on the sidewalk. I feel like everyone's heard of this show, but has anybody watched it? I've heard about this show. It's like a meme. I didn't know I was pregnant. Girl gives birth to baby on toilet in an Applebee's. She had no idea, but I've never actually sat down, took valuable time out of my day, and watched an episode. So that's what we're gonna do today. This is important. It was honestly so hard to pick an episode because these all sound amazing. Baby on the job, baby at a rest stop, baby at the mall, baby in a 110 pound body. What? She's 110 pounds and had a baby and she didn't know? Baby in the back seat. Gas and go, baby. But I'm assuming someone plopped out a baby at a gas station. Should I watch that one? I'm settling with baby in my sweatpants. <laughs> this one spoke to me. I got the visualization of somebody wearing some Adidas sweatpants and just all of a sudden there's a bulge and they're like, what the hell? What is that? They open up their pants, see a baby's head. Just like, hey, I wish I was a girl. So I could sometimes worry that that, that that might happen. Like if you're a female watching this, like this could happen to you. It's a possibility. Don't count it out. You might be the next episode of I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant and your episode will be called Baby in a Crop Top. That could be your future. Okay, let's get into Baby in My Sweatpants. <laughs> the following program contains dramatizations of real people and events. Some names and identifying details may have been changed. They changed the effing names of these people? You're saying that the girl who gave birth in her sweatpants doesn't want the world to know her name? I was planning on following her on Instagram after this. I'm pissed. How could a woman not know she's pregnant? They found a cyst on my cervix. She said, I'm not sure if I can have kids or not. <gasps> What? Like, I thought I was gonna be watching a girl give birth in sweatpants, but like, she got in a car wreck. Did I accidentally buy baby in a car wreck? Like, that's sad, but I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up to watch a baby in a car wreck. I signed up to watch a baby in Adidas track pants. I felt something like go down my leg. I think I just had a baby. This is everything I hoped for. Yes. I think I might be having a baby. Can you imagine if someone in your life said that? You'd be so shocked if you were in the car with a friend and they're like, listen, I think I'm having a baby. I don't know what's up. I'm having a baby though. It's coming out. How did this happen? I would probably assume they got impregnated by an alien. That's where my mind goes. Oh my God, why isn't there an episode of baby and a UFO? TLC, get on that. In January of 2009, teenager Emily is a single mom caring for her son Gabriel while living at home with her mother Kim and her younger brother Logan. Becoming a mother at a young age, I, it didn't bother me very much. I grew up really fast. So is this whole thing acted out? Like I know it's based on true stories. Like I know the girl in this scene is an actor, but is this girl in the confessional doing the interview, is that also an actor? Emily's boyfriend Charlie lives nearby and gets a job to help support his new family. I wanted to be a good father, step up. Hey hon. Hi daddy. I would come down as much as I possibly could. I found out guys, these are actors, the people in the interview, I think that's the real people. I did notice that the actor had front teeth and the guy in the interview didn't. It's an observation I made, I am not judging. I don't have teeth either, I do. But like I'm not hating if you don't, you know? I support everyone. I was on the pill for about six months. And then after that, I quit taking it and we started using condoms. Okay, she went off the pill and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna use rubbers. We are gonna use condoms, Trojan brand to be exact, with the ribs on the side. You know, that's a good decision. Little did she know it would lead to her having a baby in Adidas sweatpants, just nine months later. I am 5'6 and I weighed about 160 pounds. Come on, let's go. I noticed just a small little pooch on her belly. And I said to her, Emily, you and I need to take up walking. <laughs> but the exercise regimen is short-lived. The mom noticed a small pooch on teen daughter's belly and thought, hey, let's exercise. Little did she know the pooch was living. There's a baby in there, growing, thriving. And it's gonna ruin a pair of sweatpants. Stay tuned. Why do I feel like I'm on the news? Emily was very tired. I'd come home and her and Gabriel would be taking naps together. But I attribute that to having to chase after a toddler. When winter comes, Emily's energy level plummets. The morning of February 4th, we went outside and played. I wasn't feeling good that day. I had a headache. This is why I'm so happy I'm not 
heterosexual. I know a lot of people who watch this channel are hetero. I just wanna say I support you in your journey. But can you imagine like having to worry if you're pregnant? Her only symptom she said were she was tired, took naps sometimes, doesn't everyone? And had a headache one day. If I was a straight girl right now who had sex, I'd be so scared to be like, wait, I had a headache two weeks ago. I think I might've taken three naps in the month of June. Am I secretly pregnant? Is a baby gonna appear in my sweatpants? I feel for you guys. After putting Gabriel to bed, Emily feels even worse. Tries to get some studying done while her mom goes out with a friend. I went to bed around 11. I started getting really hot. I felt like I had a fever and I kind of just thought it was the bug going around. I decided I was gonna get in the shower and try to cool down. Okay, this episode isn't called Baby in a Shower. So I know it's not gonna happen here, but I think it's gonna happen tonight. Is she gonna put on sweatpants after the shower? And in the middle of my shower, I started slowly getting this pain up at the top of my stomach. And then it slowly started getting worse and worse. I know a lot of people of this show might be like, she's so dumb. How did she not know she was pregnant from all these horrible stomach symptoms? But at the same time, like after a certain type of Chipotle burrito bowl with chips on the side, queso, sour cream, beans, spices. I think a lot of us have felt that type of stomach pain in a very real way. It's very real. The Chipotle stomach cramps. It was unbearable. <laughs> It just felt like someone was ripping through my intestines. It was excruciating. I'm not trying to make this about me, but that's exactly how I was after Chipotle introduced their new queso and I tried it. I literally thought I was dying. I just was hysterical. I was calling Charlie, but he wasn't off work yet. My mother was out with a friend and I just kept trying to call her and call her and she never answered. Get on the toilet, girl! This is intense. She thought she was gonna die? Call 911 immediately! I'm like, Emily, you know, are you okay? Come here, I got you, I got you. And they had to help me out of the tub because it just hurt so bad I couldn't even stand up. On a scale of one to 10, my pain was probably a 23. I don't know what's going on. I experimented with a plant-based diet and my stomach is going crazy. I'm just confused because where are the sweatpants? The baby's head is pretty much popping out of the vaheen. Is she gonna put on sweatpants or is this the wrong episode? Did I get scammed? She pointed right to where her appendix were at. Oh my God, I think it's a pain. We need to get her to the hospital. <laughs> and uh, I put on some Capri sweatpants. <gasps> Yes! She put on the sweatpants and they're capris. Oh my God. Not only baby in my sweatpants, but baby in my capri sweatpants. Capris. Remember when Zac Efron wore capris in High School Musical 2? Iconic. I had put on a shirt, but it, I was just in too much pants. We're gonna get you the hospital. It's gonna be all right. So we put her in the back seat and Gay's driving as fast as she possibly could towards the hospital, which was about 15 miles. Please go. Please go faster, girl, like I'm trying. The poor mom in the front is like, I am going as fast as I can. I'm gonna try to get you there as, as quick as possible. I need help, somebody come quick. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I just started hurting. <laughs> and I just felt this burst, <laughs> like this sudden like gush. And then I felt something like go down my leg. And that's when I realized I had shit my pants. I'm just confused because apparently she's wearing Capri sweatpants, but is she wearing a halter top or is that a tube top or is that just a towel? I'm confused, like why did you put on Capri sweatpants, but not a top? I like how that's what I'm concerned with. <laughs> she's like literally giving birth unexpectedly and I'm worried about the clothing. It just felt slimy and gross and like goo. I thought that was my appendix to disperse until I kind of felt something move down next to my leg. I could hear like a little tiny noise. This would be the scariest shit ever. You'd have to go to therapy forever. I would never recover. You're in the shower, just relaxing, listening to soothing music, such as the Victoria soundtrack. You start getting stomach pains. You think it's cause of your new plant-based diet. Nope, you're rushed to the hospital in Capri sweatpants. All of a sudden you feel like you just took a giant dump, which is embarrassing. And not only that, but now you're hearing noises. I would be so scared. Like, did I just give birth to a guinea pig? Did I give birth to a gerbil? And am I gonna get arrested for this? Because they're gonna think I had sex with a gerbil. That's what would be going through my mind. And she looks at me. Her eyes are as big as saucers. I'll never forget the look on her face. 
I think I just had a baby. And she just got the stunned look on her face. <laughs> If you ever did shit your pants in public, I'm sorry, this is like the third time I'm mentioning, I've mentioned um, shitting your pants in this video, but if you ever do, and you're around people you'll never see again, like say you're, I don't know, at a store where you don't know anyone, if you shit your pants, you could yell, I think I'm having a baby. Cause then people won't be grossed out, they'll be sympathetic. They don't have to know that you just straight up crapped your pants. Let everyone think you're having a baby and rush out of that store. That's my advice for today. <laughs> Oh my God. There was no pushing, there was nothing. I just heard this tiny, itty bitty mousy cry. And she pulled back the towel. <laughs> I looked down and there was a baby in my sweatpants. Iconic. Like, yes, this has been an emotional journey for her. It's been very traumatic, but that'd be kind of cool. Like at the end of all this pain that you had to go through, you thought you just straight up shit your pants. You thought your appendix burst. Congrats, you have a new human in your life. Like that'd be kind of exciting. Like, oh, cool. Like a new person. I never have met you. Hi, how are you? How are you doing down there? But then I guess like you have to pay for it. It's food and like it's schooling and like I'm sure it'll wanna like do swimming lessons in the future and like maybe join gymnastics, which is expensive, I bet. So it would be stressful. And she never even knew that she was pregnant. There's this baby right there between her legs with an umbilical cord running up her sweatpants. They were really baggy and really wide at the bottom. So he had just enough room to just slide right out of them. Oh yeah, good thing the sweatpants were loose. Can you imagine if she would have for some reason been wearing skinny jeans or Kim Kardashian skims? The baby probably never would have came out, but she was wearing some wide leg roomy sweatpants. And it apparently, I think she said the baby slid down the whole leg. Just like it plopped. Which honestly, like maybe all babies should be born in sweatpants. Cause like babies are always so freaked out when they're born. Cause they come out of a nice warm vag into like a cold, scary medical room, but imagine if you slipped out of your mom and like you just went into a sweatpant. Like I feel like you'd feel more safe, you know? And like they let you sit in there for a few minutes and then they bring you to a blanket. Like maybe this should be a, a new thing in the medical community. She just kept saying over and over and over, mom, I didn't know, mom, I didn't know. I was just shocked. I had no idea I was pregnant. I don't want to be a skeptic, but part of me is like, did she know? She already was a teen mom. Maybe she kind of knew she was pregnant, like she felt some kicks, but she was like, you know what? Like, I'm just not going to tell my mom or anyone because like, I know they were already kind of upset with me that I had another teen baby. I mean, uh, another baby as a teen. Not you didn't, She didn't give birth to a teen. They shouldn't invent that. Skip all of like the annoying toddler shit, go straight to a teen. I feel like maybe she knew she was pregnant and she just kind of came up with this entire plan to make people feel sorry for her. Look at me just not believing people, just assuming she's a liar. But you know what I mean? Conspiracy theory alert. Then a doctor and three nurses just rushed out of the hospital. They just couldn't believe it. They kept asking me over and over again, are you sure you didn't know you were pregnant? And the nurses clipped him both cord. Did they just cut an asparagus? Okay. Mom. She kept asking me, is the baby okay? I'm looking at her trying to tell her it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Not knowing if it's going to be okay. Mom. They took my mom and the baby into a separate wing of the hospital. What the hell? Why? That's shitty. They just separate her from her kid and her mom? If I gave birth to a gerbil and they separated me from the gerbil, I would be irate, I would sue. My main concern was if my baby was healthy. I didn't have no prenatal care. I felt very guilty because I should have known that I was pregnant. Oh, uh, it's okay, girl. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. That would be scary though, if you randomly gave birth, cause you'd be so shocked. And then once all the shock wears off, you'd be like, well, crap, I went on a roller coaster two weeks ago. That's not safe. I straight up went on a carnival ride. I belly flopped into a pool a month ago and I've been chugging wine about every Thursday and Tuesday. That would be a lot to be stressed about. It takes nearly an hour for Emily to finally get news on the condition of her baby. Here he is. Beautiful, healthy baby boy. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with him. The baby's healthy! Oh, I'm just imagining if this was me giving birth to a gerbil and they wheel the gerbil in and they're like, you know what, the gerbil's fine. He's healthy. It's a he, by the way. We didn't know this was scientifically possible, but yes, you were pregnant with a gerbil. We aren't gonna ask further questions about if you've slept with a gerbil, how that happened, 
We're gonna leave that to you. That's between you and God. <laughs> the first thing she said was she had no idea. You okay? She was worried just as much as I was, scared just as much as I was. It's okay. And then I went over to my son and picked him up. Pure love and emotion for me. Oh, this is so sweet. I didn't expect to get my heartstrings pulled so gently by this episode called Baby in My Sweatpants. I hope she kept those Capri sweatpants. I hope she never gives them up. Those should be in a frame in her house. If she put them on eBay, I would buy. And there is one more surprise. Shit, there's another surprise. After this, did she also give birth in a skirt? The shorts in the back, skirt in the front. Charlie proposed to Emily. And today, they're not only planning a wedding, they're also raising their two sons together. After it all, it was really the greatest thing that's ever happened to me and Emily. Oh, nope. Um, she just got engaged and is living happily. Yes. Yes, girl. Yes, yes. Honestly, I'm so happy for them. I feel like it should be a tradition if she has any more kids to do it in sweatpants, capri to be exact. It's a good luck charm. It's a family tradition. Oh my God, pass that on for generations. We're the sweatpant baby family. And every time one of us gives birth, it's in capri sweatpants. The exact same pair. <gasps> Sisterhood of the traveling pants. Instead, the parenthood of the traveling Capri sweatpants. Like they would wash them in between. So it's not, it wouldn't be all like gooey, you know? That was beautiful. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. I'm so glad I watched this. Don't forget to subscribe. I make videos every Thursday. And with that, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>